We now return to Let's Play Fallout 2. Continuing on with the exploration of town here. Striking woman in a long robe. I would love to help you, but even an A HS4 must sleep. Come back in daylight, okay? You don't look like you're sleeping. Can I poke around or looks like? open to you? That looks open to me. And a bar. Dumpy looking bald guy polishing a glass. What can I get you? Uh, who's the big guy over there? I'm not sure where he's talking about, but who's the big guy over there? That's Haas, President Tandy's boy. More in trouble when he's drinking, so I'd stay clear of him if I were you. President Tandy. Daughter of President Aradesh, the guy who founded NCR. She's been president for years. Does a good job, too. And she's looking for a specialist. What kind? Was that mentioned? She's looking for a specialist. What kind? Don't know. Gunther, her aide, probably does. He's down at the Hall of Congress. Okay. Would you like a drink? No, but what else do you have? 31 bucks. Close enough. I wonder, these are like ten bucks a piece, right? Yeah. May as well get something out of it. This is the big, dumb looking, over muscled lunk. Oh, we should probably start saving before talking to people. You never know. Hey you, turd face, I don't like you. I think you should buy me a drink. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Well, you're gonna have it. You either fight me or I'm gonna tell everybody what a spineless little baby you are. Bare fists, right here. Boy, I wish I had my uh, boxing gloves with me. Alright, let's dance. Son of a... He's wielding spiked knuckles. Guess who just sold some? You know what? Let's uh, let's see if I can't... I, I saved before I traded for him, didn't I? Of course I did. Of course I did! Maybe I should... You know what? Let's just... I mean, fuck, we just started here, right? Let's just come all the way back. Rewind. Oh, okay, we can't go in there. I guess there's no reason to go in there. Let's head down here. Talk to you, who's the big guy, President Tandy. Thanks a lot. No, not yet. We'll talk later. Turd face. I don't want any trouble. Let's dance. for me. No damage. Oh boy. We probably don't want to do that. Seeing how this is, um... Hey, I'm backing off, okay? Don't hit me. Okay. So he survived. I don't know if that was a good idea. Let me buy you a drink. I've been wanting to smack her him around for years. Got some questions. What's to do in this town? 
How much? If you're looking for trouble, go drink someplace else, like the Rawhide. If you're looking for work, there's the Weston place west of town. Heard some things about President Tandy looking for a specialist, too. Specialist. I don't know. Gunther Hurade probably does. He's down at the Hall of Congress, okay? Do you like a drink? No. Let's get back into... Oh, shoot. I've got my thing. I've got it right there. Dang it. Um, oh, right, it was the Knuckles that I sold. Okay. Uh, no. Alright. Better get those out of inventory anyhow. Uh, barter. Okay. You can give me that. And one of those. And keep that. Oh, he gave me he gave me another one of these. Okay. Oh, whatever. It's all all good there. Goodbye. Wow. Go poke through your stuff. He's got a lot of stuff, and he's got ten bucks back here. That might count as stealing, though. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Though I'm sure I could get away with it. I wonder, though, if uh, getting into combat and shooting the guy, if that's going to affect my situation with President Tandy. Stranger, we got a no-weapon policy. Put your weapon away. Oh, boy. Uh, put your weapon away. Who else has got their weapon out? Sulik. What, Jibby? Jesus Christ, you're about to get me in trouble here. Good. Better make sure no one else has got their weapons out, either. What's up? You got my gear? What about it? All right. What's up? Where the fuck did... Is he... Who's in the way here? God damn it. I'm willing to bet it's... What's his face? Okay, Marcus doesn't have his weapon out. Christ, you guys. You get me in trouble. Actually, wait a minute. Are you a special one? No. Room. Well, I suspect that there's not going to be a whole lot for me to do here. Uh, sledgehammer. Not, not much for me to do here until morning. <laughs> All right. Well, who knows? Super mutant. You ain't supposed to be here. All right. Maybe I should steal their stuff after all. Hello, Gaz Jr. I'm Luke. What can I do for you? How do you know my name? Joshua mentioned that you stopped by our den office. He said you were a small fish making big waves. What do you mean by that? You're attracting the attention of a lot of people. You need to be careful. Go on, I'm listening. I said enough for now. I think you should get about your business. Is this the same blow-off I got from Joshua? Can I ask you some questions? Joshua allowed you one question. I'll do the same. What will it be? Who the hell are you guys? We are the Brotherhood of Steel. There is nothing more that I will tell you at this time. Good luck. Wait, you just can't leave it at that. Yeah, I don't think he was going to tell me where Vault 13 was anyway. A wasted question. Oh, can we sneak up the backside? Maybe now I should save. Just in case this guy decides to shoot me. Grease stained clothes, probably a mechanic. I'm not taking any more work right now, okay? Get out of here, you motherfuckers! 
blocking my pathfinding? They got me shot a couple times back in fucking New Reno, because I would try and exit out the front door of uh, the weapons guy's place, and it would send me pathfinding to the back, and he'd start shooting at me. Fucking bastards blocking me. A young woman, very much a tomboy, dressed in work overalls. Can't chat, stranger. Name's Dorothy, city engineer, and that's Toto. I gotta run. Okay. Nothing in here. Uh... Okay. Well, I guess that's it for everywhere here. Probably do... Probably do need to just wait. I don't know that I have any other books. Definitely not here. Maybe in the trunk I've got more books. But if I could do some reading to pass the time, is this a statue? There's a plaque at the base, it reads, To the Stranger and Vault 13. What doesn't exist, we must sometimes dream, and let our dreams inspire us to greater heights. So it was with the Stranger, and his belief in the legend of Vault 13. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, well, there's a big building here. NCR. Hall of Congress. It's a road going nowhere. I don't know what you're all about. That plain looking young man in respectable clothing. Welcome to Congress House. How can I help you? Uh, I'm here to see President Tandy. Maybe we should go backwards for this. What is this place? This is the Congress House, lawmaking body of NCR. Uh, can you help me find Vault 13? 13, or did you mean 15? I said 13. Well, then I can't help you with that. Can you help me find 15? Oh, nothing. Uh, my mistake. You said 13, right? I don't know anything about that. Okay. Uh, not unless you got a geck? Nope. Okay. I'm here to see President Andy. Concerning, I heard your president's got a job to be done. Oh, that. Uh, talk to Mr. Gunther in back. Okay. But was there something else about I'm looking for a job? That's nice. This isn't a hiring hall. Why don't you try downtown? Okay, fine. Fine! Pointless dialogue tree for no reason. Uh, Gunther, aid of President Tandy. Can I help you? Who are you? My name is Gunther, personal assistant to President Tandy. Now, what can I do for you? Searching for Vault 13. Madam President no longer grants interviews regarding Vault 13. I'm sorry, she's too busy to see every prospector who comes through here. Uh, what about a geck? She might know something about that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you have any real questions? I understand the President has a job for me. Uh, yes. She's... Well, she's instructed me to send in anyone asking about it. You're buzzed in. It's the door on the right. Okay. The door on the right, but it's on my left. Okay. On his right, I guess, is what he meant. An elderly woman, lean and weathered. I'm Tandy, president of the NCR. So, you whooped my boy Hoss over at Dusty's. Maybe you're the right man at the right time. Interested in some work? I might be. What's the job? We need some computer parts from our old base, Bolt 15. Problem is, there's squatters there who won't let anybody buy. Somebody has to convince them to let us in. Or just bring back the parts. You up for the job? Uh, yeah, I'd be happy to help you out. Fair enough. Do it right and there's a reward. I'd like to ask you some questions. Well, I got a little time to spare. What can you tell me about Vault 15? It's just east of here, an underground shelter from the war. Most families in NCR came from it, so it's rightfully ours. Go on. A couple of years ago, some squatters moved in and built a shantytown on the surface. They call it the Squat. They're nothing but dogs in the manger. They can't get into the vault, but they keep us out. I see. 
and to ask you about a few other things. What do you want to know? Why haven't you made a deal with the squatters? I tried. I sent some people down there, but after the first few, they stopped coming back. I can't prove the squatters are responsible, either. My boys managed to capture one of them, but he won't talk. Got him locked up downtown. Interesting. A few more questions, please. Get to it. I can't spend the day with you. Try to be quick. What do you want to know? Do you know where Vault 13 is? Vault 13? Why are you asking? I'm the chosen one of my village. I'm a descendant of the Vault Dweller. You're serious, aren't you? If we're talking about the same person, he saved my life. <laughs> then vanished. When I start thinking it was only a dream, I go look at the statue out front. The statue? That's right. For scaring off the raiders. They kept clear of shady sands afterwards, and we got time to get ourselves set up. We made him a hero. Even if we didn't believe a word about him coming from Vault 13. My dad and Seth searched for years trying to find Vault 13. They died looking. Always said it was west of here. If somebody were to find Vault 13, that'd do us even better than 15. I'll keep that in mind. Can I ask you some more? What do you want to know? I'm looking for a geck. Would you happen to have one? A geck? Like the lizard? We got them all over. No, not the damn lizards. Never mind. I need to ask you something else. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about New Reno? New Reno? A damn bucket of Brahmin spit. Got every vice there is. We've got to be tough with them if we're going to unify this land. Congress has got to understand that. Tell me about the Congress. Most figure we've got to work with New Reno one way or the other. But folks like Weston and the ranchers blame New Reno for rustling the cattle drives between here and Reading. Who is this Weston person? Congressman Weston? One of the biggest Brahmin ranchers around. His spread's on the west side of town. Just don't bring up New Reno if you talk to him. He gets them going. If you're looking for a steady job, you're not that type, are you? No, thanks. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about Roger Weston? Congressman Weston? One of the biggest... What okay. do you want to know? The Elder tells a story about the Vault Dweller and someone named Tandy. Are you that Tandy? Lord, that was a long time ago. Hardly remember who I was then. Just a naive girl. The one you call the Vault Dweller. Is he still alive? The Vault Dweller is my ancestor. He lives on in me. Yes. There's a resemblance. You've got the same fire, too. I was always afraid that he was nothing but a skeleton somewhere in the desert. I'd like to hear your story. Figures. Well, I was pretty young when we met. There was a gang of raiders, the Khans, who had gotten hold of me. Things were looking pretty bad when all of a sudden this stranger shows up and rescues me. Your Vault Dweller. The Vault Dweller had many such adventures. I used to envy him that. I wanted a life of adventure, but I stayed here and took over as mayor when my dad died. Been running this place and building NCR ever since. Guess it turned out to be a pretty big life after all. The Elder will be happy to know that you are still alive. I'm sorry, but I need to know more. Get to it. I can't spend the day. What do you want to know? Is this the Shady Sands the Elder speaks of? Was Shady Sands. Most folks call it NCR now. New California Republic. Pretty impressive name, huh? Tell me about the NCR, please. Lord, I could talk about that forever, and I just don't have the time. Here's a holodisc on the NCR. We make them to spread the good word. Thanks. What do you want to know? That's all for now. I'll be going. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save here just in case she's going to get upset about me poking around the, the bookcases. But there's nothing in the bookcases. You guys. Get in my damn way. There's nothing in the bookcases. All right. History holodisc. History of NCR. Downloading data from disk. The status. Three of these pages. Okay. We're here. Why not join us? There's a wonderful future ahead, and it could be yours with the new California Republic. But what is it, you want to know? How big is the NCR? Founded 80 years ago, the NCR is now comprised of the states of Shady, Los Angeles, Maxon, Hub, and Dayglo. Approximately 700,000 citizens are pleased to call NCR home. 
What does NCR stand for? The New California Republic is dedicated to bringing peace, security, and justice to the people of the Great West. NCR's fine police forces constantly patrol and arrest any raiders, cannibals, slavers, and lawless mutants within the country. And the NCR Army valiantly protects the borders against outside marauders. To ensure justice and liberty, all citizens have access to NCR's courts and the right to vote for a representative of their choice to sit in the Hall of Congress. In the words of President Tandy, a safe people is a strong people. Who's in charge here? NCR may be a bit different from what you're used to. There are no chieftains, town bosses, kings, or dictators here. Our leaders are elected by the people. That's right. Every state has the right to send representatives to the Hall of Congress. These representatives select the president and vice president to head the council, and it is their advice which guides the president's decisions. For ten terms now, President Tandy has been the unanimous choice of the council who respect her wisdom and foresight. Sounds great. How do I join the NCR? All law-abiding and peaceful people, human or mutant, are eligible to become citizens of NCR. To become a citizen, all you have to do is move to NCR and present your claim for immigration. After citizenship training and processing your application, you will be notified of your new status as a PC or provisional citizen. From there, it's only a short step to full citizenship. Of course, NCR is not for everyone. Slavers, unreformed mutants, known raiders, and other undesirables need not apply. But what if my entire town wants to join? Depending on where your town is located, NCR does accept petitions by villages, towns, bases, city-states, even minor kingdoms for annexation by NCR. Once the petition is accepted, NCR will grant your town territorial status. Once the needed police and army presence is established in any banditry or other lawlessness has been dealt with, your village can apply for full statehood in the NCR. It's that simple. So remember, we're here. Why not join us? Prepared by the New California Republic Relations Advisory Panel, blah da 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 da. This page was intentionally left blank. Okay. Is there a... here to report the outcome of Vault 15? No. Well, I'm sorry, but Madam President's very busy. Why don't you come back when the job's done? Okay. Okay. Well, I think for the rest of this... Obviously, I can't get in there, and I have no idea what that is. And then that guy mentioned Weston out that way. Weston Ranch. That's closed off for another night, too. So, I think we're going to have to pass the time here. But... Perhaps. Get up here, come on. Perhaps I can pass the time productively. So, actually, one thing, uh, I was looking at the stats for guns and whatnot, and uh, that BB gun, yeah, this thing, uh, might actually be a better thing to give to uh, Vic, yeah, over, over the uh, sniper rifle. Thing is, I don't believe the BBs have very good armor penetration, so... Considering what we've been fighting lately, I might want to leave him with what he's got there. Uh, I think I'm keeping that for trade. I may as well keep that for trade too. Doctor's papers, I'll keep that. Put that in there. Syringe. Mutagenic syringe. Oh, right, okay. That's for the quest. Um, what was I poking my nose in here for? those away. Don't need those. I didn't look up what that ammo goes to. Well. Let me come in here and uh, also look at some other things. Look, just get out or Mr. 45 is going to be unhappy. What? Will you not... Can we not... Do we have to talk to him first? 
me save. Hmm, okay. Oh, he's not available now. Oh, right, I was looking for books. He's not available right now because it's... So, how did what we... Do you want? Maybe maybe because we got here via the car? And it didn't trigger the daytime thing? I don't know. Also, uh, this is apparently a good gun to give to somebody. I just don't have enough ammo, so I don't want to do it. Okay, that's one book. That's not going to be enough to pass the time, though. What you mean? <laughs> just all these grenades. I can only imagine Suik just wandering around, just absolutely strapped with bandoliers of grenades clanking and janking off of him. <sighs> okay. I'm pretty sure he had a gun What's uh, that I would prefer to give to Cassidy here. Yeah, you guys look like you're okay. Okay, well, I guess this is the only gun I've got. I'm gonna have to, a gun, book. I'm gonna have to take a look here. Okay, well, let's pass some time then. I don't think that's enough. So, we will have to wait until morning. It's not too long, thankfully. Alright. Let's try this again. Fuck. Is my karma too high? I'm, con I'm confused about this now. Why the fuck's he upset with me? It's also not very good because he was going to be my main source of trading. Talk to the slave guy now, I guess. Scrawny old guy with a pen stuck behind his ear and spectacles balanced on the end of his nose. What do you want? What was this place do? This place is my place, and I, Vortis, run an honest and legitimate business no matter what anybody in NCR tells you. Since NCR don't allow slaves inside the gates, I mind them for folks who've made business inside. I got some questions. Fuck you. Boys, escort this annoying crud out of my sight. Oh boy. Oh look, goody two shoes lollipop kid. Okay. Try this again. All right, what's this place do? I'm looking for work. has gone on here. I don't know, some of the other guys in in the game have not talked to me until I've broken past neutral. So maybe there's something going on there? 
I don't know. It bothers me, though. What's going on here? Some drunk you saw last time. <laughs> That's an interesting day that it's kept me here. but you can pay me. Huh. All right, well. I'm not real sure what to think about that. Unless, unless me getting into a fight is what did that. Gray-haired man in uniform. Take a word of advice from Sheriff Dumont, stranger. This town don't care for your kind. Any trouble and I come down hard. Now, is there anything I can do for you? I'm looking for Vault 13. Do you know where it is? No, I don't. That's something even President Tandy would like to know. Solve a lot of problems. Problems? Look around you. NCR's a growing place. We need parts, computers, whatnot. Been a problem ever since those squatters moved into Vault 15. Vault 15. Squatters, what's going on? Desert rats. You gotta understand, this town traces its roots back to 15. It seems there was some trouble there a long time ago, and the survivors founded Shady Sands. So by right, 15 is our property. A few years back, some squatters moved in, and there's been trouble ever since. You should talk to Tandy about it. I'll take that under advisement. But there's more to this. Uh, look for some honest work. I can think of a couple things if you're interested. Okay, like what? Well, there's Dupo at the Stockman's. He's, he does the hiring for the Brahmin drives. Then there's Mr. Weston. If you talk to him, tell him I sent you. Even President Tandy's been asking for some help. Weston. Roger Weston. He's sp his spreads just out the West Gate. He's been having some problem with varmints. He'd take care of itself. He'd take he'd take care of it himself, but his health ain't what it used to be. Bad ticker, Doc Jubilee says. Well, I guess we can go back in here. What'll it be? How about some work? Still looking for some guards, if you're interested. Good enough. Sounds like you'll do. We're paying for guards for a Brahmin drive to Redding. Oh. This is, so this is the same thing. Okay. Oh, never mind. I don't want to... I don't want to go to... To Reading, especially not on foot, because it'll take us a month to get there. This thing is still up. This is private property. Please move along. Excuse me, who lives here? This is Weston Ranch, home of Councilman Weston. I need to see the councilman, please. What business do you have with Mr. Weston? Looking for work, and I hear he's hiring. Uh, I seem to remember something about work being available. All right, come on in. Don't cause any trouble. I'll be watching. Take a peek at what he's got. Grubby old man. Howdy, stranger. Who are you? Name's Bob Salt Beef Bob. Oh, Salt Beef Bob. There's a period there. Yep. How about you? I'm Gaz Jr. What are you doing here? The boss lets me stay here. I run this stable. Do a little cleaning. Keep a square camp. Salt Beef. What kind of name is that? Tar Nation. It's good and honest name is what it is. Boys let me do some cooking around here, and if you weren't such a tin horn, you'd know that and know to respect your elders. Sorry, old timer, didn't mean to rile you. Rile me, rile me! You ain't seen me riled yet. Now just get out of my sight before you gets me real upset. Ah, great. <sighs> we don't want to piss off everybody in town because I really, really, actually want to fucking get quests and whatnot. God, 
This is just like Reno, where you say one wrong thing and it fucks everything up. Who are you? I'm Gaz Jr. That's a right fine name. Yeah, say, you wouldn't have a drink on you, would you? Yes, I do. Ah, that's right fine. Are you a stranger? Fine person indeed. Kind of a man. Kind of man should have as, as his partner. Did I ever tell you about the time I made a big strike? No? Yeah, it was back in 78, and me and Bessie, best bought a man ever had, we was a uranium prospect in west of here. We hadn't turned up a rad's worth of beans when all of a sudden five, no, I'm sure it was ten death claws jumped us. They fought like hellcats. I fired so much, I melted down my rifle barrel and was going at him knife to claw when old Bessie finally fused her last circuit board. Well, I tried to save her, but it weren't no use. Finally had to cut and run, keeping him off the rocks all the way. Now things got looked bad when I stumbled into this cave. I thought I was a gunner for sure. Figured it was their lair, but I had me my torch, so I went inside. And hoo-wee, it was a deep cave. And that's when I saw it. It was a great big door, like them kinds you see in the old video flicks, big and made of steel, and on it was carved a great big 13. I knew I'd found it, the mother load, the vault 13. I sat right down and made me a map, damn near died getting out of there. Past them death claws, and then the... Past the... Uh, getting out of there, past them death claws, and then the sun of the desert and no water. By the time I staggered into shady sands, I was mostly dead. Took me to the dock and fixed me up, but that dog stole my map. I knows it, and that's all I gotta say. Doc has a map. Okay. I don't think there's anything more I can get out of him for that. The Doc has a map. I wonder where he's holding that out then. A back door to this, or can I only get here through the? Looks like I can only get here through this gate. $200 tool there. for you, stranger. Sheriff told me to come by and said Mr. Weston might have a job for me. Do you want, huh? Well, that's good enough for me. Mr. Weston's inside. Perfect. I wonder if I can just go poking around. Sure, it's just the usual food stuffs and all that crap. Bunch of booze. Okay, so here, here I could just load up on free booze to go take the what's his face. I'll take the Nuka Colas. Come to think of it, I might be short on fruits if I'm looking to make any more stim packs. But I think I'm totally, really good on stim packs, hey, guys. This sort of shit is 100% the fault of the developers. making their maps so easy to get blocked in on. That probably sells for a lot. I think 
a thousand bucks right there. Or eight hundred, maybe. Could take another one of those. It's only forty bucks for that. Eh, Fifty bucks. Got plenty of ammo. I don't need more ammo. Is he gonna get upset if I... Nothing in there anyway. Alright. Who's this? Silver and turquoise rings, silver buckle belt, silver belt buckle, pistol at his side. This guy's clearly used to having money and having his own way. I'm Roger Weston, and you can't come barging in here. What do you want? Bishop sent me. Um, uh, I'm here about a job. At all? Talk to Foreman Felix. Sheriff suggested I come talk to you personally. Dumont recommended you. Well, that's good enough for me. Something or someone's been raiding my Brahmin at night. I need you to find out what's up. How about going out there and looking into it for me? I'll pay you for your trouble. Sounds like easy work. I'll do it. Excellent. Felix will guide you out there, if you excuse me. At night, he says. Are we about to pass a lot of time? I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet. I got a whole day here. There's people to talk to in town. So, I think I'll... I'll wait on that. Uh, just in case it, we have to wait until night time. So, I will end this one here, and I will see you next time.